uh, if we don't look after the soil and sustain it, then there won't, you know, we won't be able to grow this real food. So it's, it's vital. You know, you're not going to be able to keep up with the big boys who are throwing chemicals on everything all the time, but you, you end up with tastier food and you end up with healthier food and you end up with healthier soil. My name is Tim Martin. I'm one of the co-founders of Farm Wilder. Um, we're a social enterprise um, and we source meat from farms with exceptional wildlife that are, that are farming sustainably. And we help those farmers to, to help their wildlife and to farm more regeneratively. To be a farm wilder farm, they have to have exceptional wildlife to start with. Um, and they also have to have an interest in restoring wildlife and in farming more sustainably. Um, and there's lots of different ways people do that according to the type of farm. Um, but what they're united by is the fact that they're, they're using much less or no chemical inputs. Uh, many of them are organic, many of them are 100% pasture fed certified already. And that's the key to it really, it's about farming with nature in a way that produces healthy food that's more nutrient dense um, and also it's better for the planet, better for wildlife. Cat Frampton uh, is, is, a, is a wonderful Dartmoor farmer who um, does farm in a, in a very, very sustainable, wildlife friendly way. She's got a beautiful farm. We don't use chemicals, so we don't use fertiliser. We don't put any nitrogen onto the grounds to make the grass grow. We don't use any herbicides or pesticides. We don't kill anything by chemical means. You just don't do that. And it means that you get a better balance and you don't need to in the end. You get a lot of rush and a lot of reed and it looks a bit scruffy. And the cows walk through it and eat and come out looking fine the other side and instead you end up with well birds all through it and butterflies all through it and you take a step and there's just like bugs jumping away from your feet because we've farmed so unsustainably for so many decades in Britain, so many places the soil is, is exhausted, uh, the wildlife's gone, so regenerative agriculture is all about bringing that back, it's about re restoring the soil to health. So it's, it's a very hopeful thing really, regenerative agriculture, and that's what our farms do, they're, they're trying to make the countryside better, um, better for the environment, better for wildlife, and better for us in terms of the food it produces. My name's Luke Hazel, I farm at Heron's Green Farm, and produce organic pasture for life beef for the story and farm wilder. There's an amazing amount of responsibility we have as stewards of the land and um, you know we're not just protecting the environment we're we're looking after the wildlife and the biodiversity of the land. Most importantly for the future I think we're, we're regenerating the soil um, and that is going to become the most important thing and for the next generations to come. Soil is an incredible resource, isn't it? And, and we're not looking after it enough as a human race. And it's, it's like a, another galaxy beneath our feet. It's the microbial activity in a, in a handful of soil is insane. And that's why we need to regenerate that soil uh, and enable it to thrive for the next 50 years and not, you know, we are degrading the soil on a mass scale through our conventional way of farming. What's really encouraging is that people are really starting to, to talk about climate change, about biodiversity loss and what we can do about that. And of course the, the thing that they can do about that is to select food which promotes biodiversity, which restores wildlife and which is lower carbon. And that's what Farm Wild is all, all about. It's about finding those farms, working with those farmers and offering shoppers a choice of food that's really, really helping the environment. <laughs>